This paper really unveils the value of some properly intelligent analytical techniques to separate the wheat from the chaff. It demonstrates the value that research can play in how really refining brand positioning and the really important role that research can offer marketeers to help them really understand what they should be doing in their communication strategies. So I invite up to the stage uh, Frank Buckler from Success Drivers. Thank you. First, build on causation, not correlation. Second, measure total impacts, not just direct impacts. And third, be able to explore unknown nonlinearities and unknown interactions. Or as Sherlock Holmes would have said it, there's nothing more deceptive than an obvious fact. It is not needed to predict purchase intention. Although it correlates higher assessment, more purchase intention, but it's not needed. So there, there's no single importance of water. It depends on how much sun you have. Adapt to reality and can find out that there's an optimum. Da fragt er die Kunden, Kunden, was ist eigentlich wichtig? Ja, weißt du was die Kunden da sagen? Billig muss es sein! Und unsere Autos würden heute eher so aussehen. <lacht> ne? Und äh, das ist auch biologisch, ne? Vielleicht hätte ich doch. All those exciting data. But how can we understand what is the impact of a creative tactics on two outcomes? So the finding is, both don't work. Don't be one of those losers that don't take the right medication. It's proposed of the, its financial service, is it, to support customers in what they truly care for, to care for their loved ones. Which intelligence is that is flexible. Yeah, it adapts to the real data and helps us to identify things we don't know up front. I would like to leave you with a final question. Uh, imagine you can understand uh, why your customers buy by factor three better. What would this mean to your marketing ROI, to the success rate of your uh, product launches, or even to your sales figures? Thank you. <laughs>